What's up guys and of course welcome to another episode of Pocket Topics and this time we're actually gonna talk about why fire and stab sucks and it's a subject that is actually quite recognized as being not as much an issue as it is making fighting mons not as viable now fighting mons themselves are kinda nice and have a presence to them and fighting stab in general or fighting typing does hurt a lot of things really 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 hard but it's always been a drawback to using of course these kind of moves and it hasn't really changed throughout the generations even now in generation 6 things hasn't really changed that much for fighting types and uh, I wanted to of course talk about a little bit about the fighting types history and basically what changes need to be made and why there is such a drawback of using one so this is your average base total for a fighting type and as you guys can see it's really balanced but a lot of presents are on its attack and definitely they are significantly weak over cause a special attack but as you guys can see defenses are quite balanced so with HP a bit below average I guess they are and then speed is actually bumped up a little bit it should be noted that there are very very speedy fighting types and then there are not so speedy fighting types so there are the stats there are kind of unfair but at the same time I guess fighting type is actually recognized as the sixth fastest typing when it comes to your average so that's kind of cool I guess so having all of this said obviously these are good stats and like I said the key to a fighting type is balance a lot of these fighting types that are in the meta can in some fashion or another stay in against definitely matchups they will lose but they can survive them and with that said there are things that is not really right with fighting types and it's something that I feel still is bothering me because they haven't solved it they only gotten worse as your generation went through and uh, they don't really try to compensate for the fighting type they just like I said they're making it worse they're making the fighting stabs less and less effective for the type of mod you're going to use so with all that said we're gonna look through the fighting stabs through the generation being of course the most relevant ones I have eight stabs I've chosen these are the ones so from generation 1 through 3 we actually got submission which was of course generation 1 that was your only move that was the only hitting move good of course of 80 base and 80 percent accuracy really 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 awful and like I said this is your go-to fighting type move you had low kick sure but it was not as viable karate shop was as far as I know a normal type movement that generation so submission was your only type uh, and it, it was actually quite reliable when it comes to actually hurting normal types which were very prominent but it still was an extremely bad stab in generation 2 we got reversal which pretty much was the only hit you got for heracross um, heracross had nothing else outside of reversal and it was basically forced to use end your reversal to make that pokemon work and it was a high risk to it of course and we also got in generation 2 dynamic punch which as you guys know are eh, it works in this generation for a few months, but it's it's a bad stab hit with 50% accuracy. There, there, there is nothing happening there. And generation 3, we got focus punch. And the same thing there. Kind of bad. Uh, kind of bad. I am missing out, of course, on Brick Break and Crush Up in that generation. But at the same time, the Crush Up might be relevant, but not as much. Crush Up was probably the only only good move for uh, the likes of uh, Machamp at that time but that's all itself in later generations anyway so I don't see Crush Up being that important but that also has a lacking accuracy of also missing I do believe it's at 85% of landing which is on the levels of Hydro Pump and Fire Blast which is also bad it's extremely bad and like I said these moves that are here all have a drawback Submission can, hit, can miss uh, or hits obviously but also have recall to it reversal you're forced to be at 1 HP to actually do damage focus punch you need to not get hits for one turn that retaliates short sure, is 100% accurate if you don't get hits dynamic punch extremely low accuracy and while it being probably the stab that the fighting typing needed it just has too big of a risk to use because of that at hand so people are using brick break to generation 3 it started a shift in generation 4 and that shift were in generation 4 things changed as you guys can see here these are 
really, really hard hitting move. Of course, we got the special and physical split, which is all awesome, of course, being definitely a step in the right direction for the Pokemon itself. Now, here's the issue with the mon with the mons, with the moves included to these mons. Super power, high base power, awesome. Close combat, high base power, awesome. 100% accuracy, thank the lord, finally. But they have a massive drawback to them. And I mean a massive one. You lose your stats. You're reducing your stats while using them. And why is that an issue? Fighting type is all about balance. With no reliable recovery, they need a balance in their bulk and their offensive presence to maintain themselves. And usually they aren't fast enough, which means that they actually rarely can hit hard or fast enough or hard enough to maintain that. There are a few, of course, um, issue or not issue uh, drawbacks. Of course, this theory. They of course being Scarfers, and then we got the likes of Blaziken and um, Infernape, which are fast enough. But outside of that, they aren't really too many close combat hitters that can do proper work. Um, the ones that do actually are weak to priority. How about that, like Trakion and uh, Cobalion. Uh, I also forgot to include High Jump Kick, which also has a massive drawback. Massive one. <laughs> As you guys already know, should really go into detail with that. And then, of course, we've got Aura Sphere and Focus Blast. Now, Aura Sphere, for me, is the pinnacle of a good special stab for fighting types. Only two fighting mods can learn it, though. So, yeah. Mian Xiao and Lucario are the only, only mods that can learn it. Um, outside of that, there are plethora of mods that can learn Aura Sphere, but they're not fighting types. So, there, it's nothing weird going on there, because Focus Blast is the complete opposite. A lot of mods can use it. It is the primary or fighting stab for special attackers. What is the drawback? Freaking blizzard accuracy. And the thing is, no weather condition can change this. Of course, the focus blast is a shot in the dark. Will always be a shot in the dark, and that is not changing. And I personally believe that that is definitely one of the worst things ever. Um, I wouldn't mind if focus blast had maybe one base and night accuracies of like that it is right now basically a blister the Nora sphere is not accessible to <laughs> actually i think there are 20 months are accessible to 10 being fully evolved and that is extreme to say the least or actually i should say this mewtwo x learns Nora sphere it's a fine type i guess we have three months with fine stab awesome but yeah, that is actually really, 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 really lacklustering. And like I said, there, there is not anything that is changing right now. And obviously, in the next generation, things will do just so. Uh, like I said, a high jump kick and jump kick are not included in this list. Should probably be included. Uh, they got a buff on it, but it also has a massive drawback, of course. A 50% freaking recall if you miss! And I know somebody will probably mention Brain Punch, and I'll say, yeah, it's on the same level as Brick Break. It's. It's not a hard hitting move enough. Uh, to say in contrast, of course, that take, of course, superpower. 120 in stab, with stab 180. That's a massive hit. Brain Punch, with extra boost, you are at, I do believe, 112. So you are hitting 40% less with that move. So that's why I really don't want to include them, because I feel they're lacking. And. Um, but Drain Punch is probably the only fighting type move I can kind of look at with a few to no drawback whatsoever outside of its power. But the heavy hitting move reduces the mon themselves. And I really don't like the idea of that. And the few moves that are viable, that I feel are good, like, like I said, Jump Kick, High Jump Kick, they are reduced to very, very few mons. And of course, Dynamic Punch, which I like and thought was a really, really good inclusion in the game. 50% accuracy is a nah, nah. That that is a nope in its finest. Now, fighting types themselves, they are not bad because they have also a really, really broad mood pool usually, and either of actually got a dual stab on them, which makes them extremely good. But I feel that the fighting stab should have been smarter implemented to the game, and I feel that they only got into got worse as the generations moved on, and the changes hasn't really come. And uh, I don't know what kind of change I want to see, to be honest, but it would go down the line something like at least make something like a flamethrower-ish move for for the typing. Or a sphere for more special attacker, yes, please, goddammit. 
and of course something like jump kick for the rest. That would at least, or actually 50% recall would be the worst, but at least, you know what? Something like submission without recall and without that pesky 80% accuracy, that would probably help out. That would make this mod a bit more tolerant to staying in against matchups because today, when you hit, of course, with your hard hitting move, you are in a situation where you barely are able to stay in afterwards. Going for superpower, reduce your attack. Shit, you can't kill your next mod. Going for close combat, shit, I now can't take a retaliated hit. It's such a bad situation to be in that I really, really can't go out of my way to try to explain how bad that contrast is with, of course, hitting a mod powerful. There shouldn't be too many drawbacks to a um, Pokemon hitting hard, and when they are so significant as fighting stabs are, uh, they're definitely making sure that fighting types just can't do what they were meant to be, and that is a really, really force to be reckoned with. They hit hard at the first turn, and then they're basically forced to draw back. That is not the fighting type I grew up with. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I, hope, I, I mean, this episode is definitely more of a personal preference as of what I feel are an issue. And like I said, the fighting mods are not bad. They, they really aren't, but they could have been a whole lot better. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next Pocket Topics. Until then, take care.